I started my Minecraft journey many, many moons ago. Literally about 10 years at this point, on the Pocket Edition, before hunger, villages, all of that were added to the game. Then I branched to the 360 and later the PC versions a few months before 1.8 released. But in all that time, I've never stopped to take a look at the older, and I mean MUCH older, versions of Minecraft. Minecraft InfDev is one of the earliest versions of the game, and this is my first ever experience with it. I fired up the game and, well, absolutely dragon free is a true statement, at this point anyways. I created a new world and spawned in, taking my first look around the Minecraft InfDev world with its neon green trees and grass. I made my way over to the tree and started punching it, doing this for a few more trees to gather some wood. To my surprise, the leaves of the tree drop really fast and give you a ton of saplings so that should never ever be an issue. I had a little play with the fog settings and looked around my world a little, stumbling onto a cave entrance. I couldn't open my inventory, so I opened my controls and see it set to I by default. I mapped this back to E and discovered a lovely quirk with the older versions. You cannot shift click to craft all of your materials, or so you can't click and drag to have them in your crafting menu. I dropped down a couple of saplings and made my way over to a few more trees. After this, I wanted to find a location that would be a suitable spot for my home and stumbled onto this hill, which happened to have a sheep on it. I smacked the sheep, because that's how you get wool back in these days, and then I saw another load of them, whose wool I would use to craft myself a bed to keep myself safe. With three wool acquired, I headed back to my hill and set down a crafting table, making myself a wooden pickaxe and a bed. Bed? Yeah, after some googling and reading some forum posts from over 14 years ago, I discovered that there were no beds in this version of the game. FUN! With that wave of tragedy wearing down me, I made my way over the back of the hill and started work on a small little mine. Now, at this point you've probably noticed there is literally no audio in the game. In the settings, I have both the sound and music set to ON, but nothing. Dead silence. Now, I don't know if that's just the game at this stage, or if it's a glitch, or if I did something wrong, but I literally have no audio, so any music you're hearing has been added after the fact, just to make it seem a bit less... empty. I upgraded to a stone pickaxe and made myself a stone sword, as well as a stone shovel. Before heading back down into the caves, acquiring some coal along the way, and I made my way down, 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 deeper, 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 and found basically nothing the whole way to bedrock. I climbed up a few levels and set about mining yet again, and did come across some lava this time with a bit of iron, but that was it. Heading back up to the surface now, as the sun rises into the second day. I dug out an area at the top of the hill, flattening it, in order to give me some space to create the foundations for the building which I was going to create there. My home. I knew I wanted to go full on classic Minecraft here, and make a castle. I made an outline for the small castle I was going to build, while smelting the iron ore which I gathered, making myself an iron pickaxe, and then a chest. The third layer of the walls I decided to craft from wood, just to add a tiny bit of variety to the incredibly ugly building. At this point I didn't really have an end goal of what I wanted to achieve. There are no villages, no strongholds, no nether, no end, nor even any other biomes in this version. So I decided the end point of this video would be the completion of the castle. I spotted a natural cave entrance and headed down with the main goal of extracting some more stone to use for my castle, finding a bit more iron along the way. I go back up and build the walls even higher with all the freshly acquired cobblestone, placing the spiky things on the wall of the castle, which lined up at the end. Luckily. <laughs> Very luckily. While this build is incredibly ugly, I feel I achieved what I set out to do, which was to make a very classic old Minecraft-like building. I dug a path outside for some stairs, only to discover 
they're not in the game, so I tried to make it with stabs. Stabs? Slabs! Instead. And soon I just gave up on the whole idea because it annoyed me. <laughs> I gather some more wood as I wanted to add a wooden floor to the castle. I dug out all of the grass and plonked the wood in. And at this point I started to feel the castle was coming on very well. Almost completed now. I used some of my spare iron to craft myself a chest plate for if I ran into any aggressive mobs, which I actually haven't done at all this farm, and I made this thing. I have no idea what it is, or its purpose, or how to use it, anything. I just discovered the thing, and then so I made it. <laughs> Back to the castle now, I felt like it was just missing some windows. Night begins to fall, and I light up the area inside and I brave my way down to the beach in order to gather some sand, smelting it when I return. While it's cooking, I dig some holes for the windows to go in, and it was at this point that it pains me to discover that glass panes don't exist yet. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I plonk the windows in, and there, done. My goal has been achieved. I do have to say, it was very interesting looking at such an old version of the game, and while there is literally nothing to do, there's no goal here at all, I kind of like my time here. It's very empty and kind of boring, and I can't see myself spending a considerable amount of time in this version, but it definitely shows the groundwork for the game and is Minecraft in its rawest form. If you'd like to see more of InfDev, let me know, or perhaps a look back at Alpha, or maybe even a longer look back at Beta due to there actually being things to do there. I hope you enjoyed this video and this little nostalgic look back at some of our favourite games. That is it from me, for now. I hope you enjoyed. Goodbye.